Hey guys, it's Jill. I record a lot of content from my car and usually it's my Honda Odyssey minivan. Now my husband and I bought that minivan right before our second child Savannah was born because we realized that our Honda CRV wasn't going to have enough room for two strollers, two car seats, groceries, and if we even wanted to have another passenger in the car. So we still have that car and I drive it a lot and I love it. But it is a six cylinder car and our kids are a bit older now. They certainly don't need strollers. Our son is 10, our daughter is eight. And we decided that we wanted to take advantage of some of the July 4th sales. You know, there, a lot of dealerships are getting rid of the 2023 models, brand new. So we figured we would look around. We test drove a few cars and what we decided to buy was the Jeep Compass Limited 2023. And I wanna show you some of my favorite features on it. So maybe if you're in the market for a car, you'll consider it. Now, first I'm just gonna show you the actual exterior of the car. Right here is the front grille with the black and the silver, which I absolutely love. And of course you have the Jeep logo. And we'll come around the side. It says compass on the bottom in black and silver, which again, I love. Normally I'm not a huge fan of white cars, but there's something about a classic Jeep in white that I love. Here's the full side view of it. It actually has a black roof now. I'm only 4'11", so you can hopefully kind of see that. And let's look at the tires and the rims. Pretty cool. Come around the back. And you can see the sensors. Those are safety sensors right there so that if you're backing out, and you don't realize that someone or something is behind you, they will beep automatically. So that's a very cool safety feature. The car also has other safety features, and I'm gonna show you some of those as well. This car came with their protective tinting, which I personally love, and the ceramic coating, and that helps protect the car, and it also helps protect your skin when you're driving, because I'm very into keeping my skin healthy. So another thing that I would like to show you is that this car uses a proximity key fob. So here is the key fob. Now, of course, it has the little switch on the back that you could pull the actual key out of if you need to and use it. But I have the key fob in my back pocket now. And again, it works via proximity. So you have to get pretty close, but I'm going to lock it. And now I'm going to unlock it. So that's the proximity usage. Now I am only four foot 11. That's pretty short. So right now this car is set up for me, but I'm gonna put the car on. I'm gonna press my foot on the brake and then right here, push the button. It does have a parking brake. And what you do is you pull it to put it on. You can see it's armed and to disarm it, you push it down. So right there, it is disarmed. Now, one of the things that I love about this car is I am going to push it back so that you can see. I'm going all the way back right now, just to give you a better view. Okay, so that's the car all the way back. Here's a better view of the steering wheel. Now, one of my favorite features is right here on the driver's side. What you do is when you position the seat to your liking, now it has lumbar support, you can lift the seat, you can lower the seat. It's got a lot of features. What you do is you would hit S1 for driver one, and then do the same thing for a second driver. You would hit S2. Now I've already programmed it for myself, so I'm just gonna hit one and you can see it's automatically sliding me. Here are my hands. There's one hand and the other hand is holding the camera. So that's sliding me up. Some of the other features I like about the car are to adjust the side view mirrors. There is a little 
wheel that you turn and toggle. Now I have the mirror set the way I want, so I'm not going to press them, but you know, just turn or push them to the left, to the right, up or down. And that will change the adjustment of the mirror. Now I'm going to pull down the window, or roll down the window, and show you right here. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but that is a triangle and that's a safety feature. So what that does is if I were driving and somebody were coming up next to me in my blind spot, that would be lit up and it would tell me or indicate to me that there's somebody in my blind spot and not to drive or not to change lanes. And the same thing is on the passenger side rear view mirror as well, which again, absolutely love. If you look at the dashboard, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you look right there at the car and the two lines, it shows that if the car is, if you're driving perfectly straight, you're in the middle. There'll be two green lines. If you start to veer off a little bit, then it'll be yellow on either side that you're veering. Another feature that I love about this car is the huge screen. Now I left my phone in the garage, but I have it connected to my Galaxy S23 Ultra. I know so many of you love iPhones and I swear I was this close to getting the iPhone 14 Pro Max and then they came out with the Ultra 23 Plus from Android Galaxy and it just had such a great camera and I'm so familiar with the Galaxy operating system that I had to get it. You could actually set up either via app. So right here you have your home navigation there's a built-in navigation that works with your phone which i love as well that's a great feature another feature i love is the entire car is leather you can see the back i'm kind of doing this one-handed but it's all leather you have a compartment in the front you have a regular usb port and a charging port for your phone a c a c charging port here are some cup holders. If you lift this button, you have a compartment. Nothing much in there but a microfiber cloth. Something else I love about this car is that on the actual key fob, you can remote start it from inside the house. So if you hit this button twice, it will start the car, but the car won't be drivable. However, whatever the last settings that you left it on, will be what the car starts at. So again, we're in Central Florida, it's blazing hot most of the year. So if we leave the air conditioner on, when we get in the car, it's nice and cool. But if you're in a colder climate, you can have the heat on and do the same thing and get into a comfortable car. Also, I love the vented seats. Again, they're leather, but if you look, you can kind of see all these little aerated holes. Well, what that does is you go to comfort and you hit vent. The air or the heat will come through the seat. So if it's hot like it is now, you're not gonna be sticking to the leather, which is something that most people hate with leather seats. And if it's cold, it'll warm you up, which I love because again, I hate the cold. Down here, we have the different modes. Now this is an automatic car, so it just stays on auto. God forbid there's ever any snow in Florida where we are. I think I'll be moving to the equator because that's one of the main reasons we left New York. I absolutely hate the cold and snow. So those so are some those of the some... interior features. And a lot of them you can do via touchscreen or using the knobs and buttons right in the front. Now this has a pretty decent amount of cargo space. Here's my freezer bag just for when I do quick shopping. Let me move that out of the way. Back and here we also have the 12 volt DC charger as well. So don't think it doesn't have that. Some good luck change. You always have to have good luck change. Little superstitious. Now we also have this mat that covers the bottom. And if you see here it says push. You push this down and pull this up. And you have where the spare tire would be, you have this whole little set. And what it does is it's a patching kit, and then you take it back to the dealership, and they take care of the tire. It comes with a nitrous protection tire feature because they mix the tire with 
nitrous it's a little bit more technical than I know about so I'll let you guys look that up if you want to but I also like that there's kind of some extra space in this compartment if you want to hide something if you're going into other stores like here are some extra bags I like to shop at Aldi's you need your own bags so that's a pretty cool feature as well so I'm going to close that and those are really my favorite features about this car so I hope everybody liked it Again, I do a lot of vlogging and talking from the car, so you'll be seeing me in this car, the Honda Odyssey. We have some different family cars, but I like to vlog from all of them, and I really appreciate that you guys are supporting my channel. Please, if you comment, that really helps in the algorithm. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks so much. I'll see you all real soon.